first of all, I want to thank everybody uh, that has uh, pre-ordered uh, the book um, uh, for mature audiences only. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited by the pre-orders and, and the, the buzz that you all have um, uh, created around the book. Elisa, how are you? Um, I'm excited about um, you all getting a chance to uh, share this and read it and uh, enjoy it. So I do want to thank everybody that were so, hey Nate, everybody that was so um, responsive and so uh, quick to uh, go online and order it. Uh, you still have time. You can order it, pre-order it at stevehamiltonministries.com and um, uh, we're going to be, uh, it's going to be just um, a very exciting time and uh, I'm excited about what God is doing. Tamala, good to see you tonight. Um, and tonight I wanted to um, talk just for a little bit about uh, understanding and, and starting to walk into your, uh, expanding your capacity uh, for ministry and uh, a great deal of that. And, and I'm going to share some stuff from the book uh, tonight because a lot of it has to do with uh, your level of maturity. In other words, how you begin to grow and develop and how you uh, allow God to, to move in your life. And so um, one of the things that, um, you know, we want to try to share with you, even from the book and uh, the subtopic of it, uh, the theme of the book is manifesting God's will for your life through spiritual maturity. Uh, for mature audiences only, really, and it was birthed out of the idea, the concept that there are some things that we're not going to be able to get or receive or even operate in. Uh, hey, Chandrella, hey, Brenda. Uh, until we are able to uh, mature or we're ready for it. Uh, there's some things that God will not even release to us until we are uh, mature enough to handle it. There's some things that's like in the, in the entertainment world. There's some things that aren't for everybody. And I grew up in a time where, uh, you know, uh, as children, we weren't supposed to be involved in grown folks' conversations. I don't know if anybody else on here uh, could send me some thumbs up if they understood uh, when when two grown folks were talking, when mama was talking to somebody or daddy was talking to somebody, it wasn't like you were sitting there just ear hustling. You had to uh, go on outside. They tell you to go. That was one of the main, one of the main times they'd ever tell you to go outside and play. But. Um, what God is saying is that I, I have a lot that I could release to you, but you're not mature enough to handle it. Your capacity for ministry could increase if you were able to handle what God has for you. So you have to be at a maturity level spiritually. You have to be at a maturity level emotionally. And, and, and in some cases, some, it has to be even a, a, a mental uh, capacity that has to increase where you are able to receive what God has for you and be able to operate on that level. Uh, sometimes we have these ideas of where we want to go and what we want to do. Uh, but but the Lord is saying, I, I can't release that to you right now. Uh, I, I always use the example that you you wouldn't, you know, if you just, uh, your, your child just learned how to drive. They just got their license. They're about 16, 17 years old, uh, maybe even 18. Uh, and you got you a, you know, a brand new uh, Ferrari, you're not going to throw them keys to that and, and say, okay, I want you to go ahead and just uh, take off around the corner uh, you, because they're not ready to handle it yet. And so there's some things that I believe that the Lord has not released to even the body of Christ. And some of us even individually as pastors and leaders and then even individually as lay members, he hasn't released everything to us because uh, we're not ready to handle it. So the Lord says, I got some blessings that are for mature audiences only. And what the book is endeavoring to do is to get you and I at a level where we are able to handle more. We're increasing our capacity uh, to handle more that God has for us. And so uh, there are four places where uh, throughout the reading of the book that you're going to be able, hopefully, uh, to begin to make some progress, to be able to see some growth. And the first thing we need to do uh, is to identify who you are. You identify. You have to find out what your identity is. You have to be able to know who you are in Christ and how and what, you know, just what in the world has the Lord done for me? And, and I have to identify who I am. 
The next thing is to understand uh, and discover uh, where you are. Uh, so it's it's important for you to understand where is God? Where am I? Am I am I mature? Am I ready? Really ready for these things? Uh, am I really? I mean, just if, if you would have hit that lotto the other night, were you really ready <laughs> to handle it? Uh, I, I often tell pastors we we keep wanting people to come to our churches, and I said, well, what what ha what would happen if you had? say 50 new people just come all at once one Sunday? Where have you been, uh, have you strategized? Have you been structured in such a way that you could receive them? Same way with us personally. If God drops some of the things on you, have you been, uh, where are you, amen, in terms of your maturity? Where are you in terms of your, your, your spiritual awareness, your spiritual sensitivity? Where are you in terms of how you hear, how you, uh, how you speak, how you operate? Where's your faith level? So it's important, first of all, to identify who you are. Uh, and, and also by identifying who you are, you also learn who you are not. And it's okay. Just make sure you be yourself in the Lord. But then it also, you have to identify and discover uh, where you are. Where am I? Then the next thing is to be able, oh, excuse me, the second thing is to recognize where you are. In other words, I have to recognize where I am. Am I at the right place? Am I operating in the right level? Uh, have, have there been places in my life uh, where I have grown? And have there been places where I need some more work? And that takes an honest uh, assessment of yourself. And I think many times, even in church, uh, that we don't often really do some real internal searching and some real internal work in terms of looking at where, who am I really? Uh, what am I really? What makes me tick? What, what, what gets me every time? How does the enemy keep fooling me every time? I, I seem like I should have been making more progress by now, but I'm not there yet. And sometimes the reason we haven't made more progress or we have these ups and downs or we're on these roller coasters is because we haven't, we fail to recognize uh, who we are. We fail to recognize where we are. We don't understand where we are. But then the next thing that I hope that you're able to glean from the book is to discover our purpose. Where, where, what is my purpose? Why am I here? I have to, first of all, uh, be able to identify who I am. Then I have to recognize where I am. And then I have to be able to discover my purpose. I've got to be able to understand that there is a reason why God has me here. There is a real divine purpose for my life. And some of the things that God has divinely orchestrated for us, we can't get there until we move past uh, the basic things. When we move past uh, some of the uh, some of the elementary teachings and some of the elementary even behaviors. Sometimes some of the even, even uh, things that we trap that, that have been a, a constant in our lives. We got to start getting over some of the little issues that we've always been carrying with us. Well, that's just the way I am. At some point, you're going to have to become more than just what you've always been, right? So first of all is identify who you are. Second is recognize where you are. Third is to discover your purpose. And then finally, once you discover your purpose, then now we can navigate the path to your destiny. In other words, now we can get you moving in the right direction. We can get you pointed in the right direction if you, first of all, know who you are. Second of all, recognize where you are. And thirdly, began to discover your purpose. Amen. Once you start discovering that, your capacity for more begins to increase. It's just like when uh, you were in school. Uh, if you had to be, if you were able to excel in certain subjects, uh, if you had a good teacher or a good professor, they were able to put a little bit more on you because you could handle more. Amen. You can handle more. Guess what? God is saying the same thing. I can put more. I can give you more if you're able to handle it, if you're able to find these ways to get to these different steps. And so that's what part of the book is. The, uh, the main thrust of the book is these four areas to be able to identify, to be able to recognize, to be able to discover, and then to be able to navigate or chart your path towards your destiny. That's where we're trying to get to because we have to be ready. The Lord is looking for some mature individuals that are going to be able to do the things of God, to advance his kingdom in these last days. And so that's where I, I, I'm excited for you to be able to get a hold of this book 
uh, because one of the things that it was, you know, some of you that have been and known me a long time know that this was something that was in my heart a long time ago, many, many years ago. Um, I was at uh, Spagatini last night with Lori uh, Cisneros and her husband, Fred, and um uh, and Lori was asking me about the book. She said, "What? when did you <laughs> start wanting to write it? And, and the thing that's interesting is uh, it's been probably over, you know, between eight and 10 years, obviously, that I've been, you know, even trying to, you know, work on this whole thing and prepare it. But the thing is that there had to be, a, it was out of frustration sometimes as a leader uh, that uh, where we're wanting people to, to grow. We want to do, uh, move the ministry forward, but you didn't have the mature people in place to be able to carry it out. Amen. And so, and then at the same time, I probably wasn't ready to write it anyway. I, I wasn't, I wasn't at a maturity level. And that's sometimes we as leaders and pastors have to understand that we have to continue to grow. We have to continue to mature. We have to continue to I, continue to identify different things about ourselves. We have to identify, be able to recognize, uh, you know, where we are at a certain point. Then we have to also be able uh, to 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 start discovering uh, where does God want me next. It's one thing to say this is where I've been, and many times in the church we get comfortable in certain places. But now, at, after a while, how many of y'all know the Lord is a very progressive God? I don't know if y'all ain't saying nothing to me. I don't know if anybody's getting any thumbs up. But but uh, you got to be able to uh, be able to turn the page and move on to what's next, because God does have a next for you. Amen. Elder Mark Moore Jr. is on here, and and I, I remember when he was doing his first uh, uh, young leaders retreat, and we he was excited to have fifty people in a, in a ballroom uh, at at the DoubleTree Hotel. But then now to be at a place where you're saying, okay, we have we have over three thousand. Uh, in the convention center, and then next year you're going to have over 5,000. That's that's what God is wanting to do. I want to increase you more and more. I want to be able to give you more. And so it's a matter of us understanding that when we when we really tap into these things, and that's what well, hopefully uh, all of you will be able to glean from the book. It will be out shortly. You'll be getting your copies. Uh, we're going to have all kinds of things going on uh, where we're going to have a launch and book signings and all that stuff. And I'll be more than happy to sign your books uh, personally. But what I want you to glean from the book is make sure that not, it's not just, okay, every preacher's got to have a book out. I want you to be able to grow. I want you to be able to find yourself and be able to say, you know what? I got to work on this area. I got to work on my attitude here. I got to work on how I talk to people. I got to learn how to speak positivity over my life. These are all areas that help to increase your capacity for more. This is a time where God is ready to release some things to us. But we have to be ready. We have to be prepared. We have to be uh, mature enough to handle what God has for us. So I'm encouraging you, if you haven't done so already, please go to stevehamiltonministries.com and order uh, a copy today. Order one for yourself, order one from your friend, order one for your enemy, but order a copy today. Pre-order it, uh, and, and we're gonna, I believe this book is really going to bless a lot of people, uh, and, and it's been an interesting uh, sign. I want you want me to sign yours before sending it to Texas. I'll see what I can do about that. But uh, we certainly uh, are, are grateful. Uh, and, and just make sure you go through these things and understand this is what you're going to be getting. And a lot of people ask, well, so what's the book about? What's it going to be? Uh, I just want to give you those four things tonight. Uh, identify, recognize, discover, and navigate. That's what God's going to do, and helpfully, hopefully that's what you'll be able to get out of the book for mature audiences only, manifesting God's will for your life through spiritual maturity. Uh, I bless God for each and every one of you. I hope you share this. I hope you, you know, let somebody else know uh, these, the, these four steps that I shared with you tonight. Hopefully, uh, that'll be something to make you think. And, and one of the things I wanted to do, even in writing the book, was to be a bit provocative and make you kind of think about where you are. And, and there's nothing like being in uh, reading something or hearing something that makes you kind of examine yourself and say, you know what, I, I got some improving to do. Uh, one of the things that, that uh, I've learned, even as I was writing this book, is that, uh, you know, we're never too uh, old or mature in God that we can't learn something and grow even more. So uh, as the Lord helps you to grow, then he's getting ready to increase your capacity. And, the, and I believe 2019 is going to be an amazing year uh, for all of us. I really believe that because God has increased us. We've gone through enough in 2018. 
Let me say that real quick before I get off here. We've gone through enough in 2018 to where our capacity hopefully has begun to increase. You've learned some things. You've grown in some areas. But hopefully this book will be the next thing to push you uh, over the top and get you where God wants you to go. So I, I, I once again, I want to thank each and every one of you that have ordered your book already. Uh, I, I, I really have been excited and, 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 and just encouraged and humbled uh, by how you have responded th thus far. And if you haven't uh, ordered it yet, please, you can do so tonight. Uh, just go to stevehamiltonministries.com and order your copy uh, tonight. Uh, but I'm telling you, this is going to be something hopefully, uh, prayerfully, that you will really be blessed by. And hopefully you'll, you'll see the results and you're going to get on your path. And you're going to be able to manifest God's will for your life uh, in, in 2019 and moving forward. So God bless you. Uh, I thank God for each and every one of you. I'm, uh, uh, of course, I'm praying for you and believing God with each and every one of you. So if you were blessed by tonight's little brief lesson, please share this. Um, and also, uh, this weekend, please get to somebody's church. Uh, please get in the building. Get inside if you can. If you can't get inside the building, please tune in uh, to a live stream. There are wonderful services going on all over the country and around the world. So please get a word from the Lord this weekend. And also, I want to just tell you, you can still register for next week's You Can Get There From Here conference or YCGT. Go to Explore YCGT. Can somebody please put that up for me? ExploreYCGT.com. ExploreYCGT.com and register for the You Can Get There From Here conference. Bishop Mark Moore Sr. has is, is done an outstanding job in putting together uh, and his team and uh, everyone has been able to put together an, an amazing conference that's going to be happening next week, November 1st through the 3rd. November 1st through the 3rd in Atlanta, Georgia at the Renaissance Hotel in Atlanta, right there near the airport. You don't want to miss this conference. Uh, uh, we're going to have Bishop R.C. Blakes, Bishop Paul Morton's going to be presenting, Elder Mark Moore Jr., Bishop Moore is going to be presenting, Elder Pastor Apostle Tim Finley Jr. from Louisville, Kentucky is going to be present, presenting. I'm going to be doing a little something uh, there that weekend. Um, we have just amazing speakers uh, from everywhere. Uh, Pastor Jay Patrick is going to be there. Uh, just great young and older leaders, seasoned veterans, but it's going to be an amazing thing. It's been a blessing every year uh, that we've had it and been a part of it. Uh, I thank God I was part of the first summit uh, many years ago, and so now we've seen it grow and grow and grow. And grow. So you want to be a part of this. If you, are in, if you are able, please get there next week. I'm telling you, you, you don't want to miss it. Uh, it's going to be a phenomenal time. So explore YCGT.com, explore YCGT.com and uh, register today. You can still, I believe, get a hotel room. Uh, it's going to be a, a phenomenal conference. So God bless you. I'm praying for you. Amen. Hang in there. I'm praying for you. I'm believing God with you and I love you. And we will talk to you next week. Amen. From Atlanta, I believe, next week. God bless you. We'll see you soon.